So we want to talk about degree maps. That is, what is a degree of a map? To talk before we talk about degree of the map, first we recall what we have already learned. So take a map F from space Y to Z. This map F induces homomorphism between the homology groups of these two spaces. So we induce homomorphism F star from H N Y to H N Z. So notice that I have index N there. So what are the properties of this homomorphism? So you could go G from X to Y and then you could go from Y to Z which will induce map FG. So this map will again induce hom homomorphism FG star from HNX to HNZ. So this splits as F star G star. So first you apply G star, you go from HNX to HNY and then you apply F star, you go from HNY to HNZ. Second important point is the identity map. You go from space X to X, the homomorphism you induce from HNX to HNX is nothing but identity map. So where one is the ID. So this is this was important. And then the, there is an important theorem which talks about homotopic equivalence maps induce same homomorphisms. So there are two maps F and G which are homotopically equivalent. They both take space X to space Y. Then they induce the same homomorphism. The homomorphism induced by F star is same as homomorphism induced by G star. Yeah, so F and G are acting on space X, taking space X to space Y. So this will be more clear. Uh, I will just write homotopic here to make it more precise or uh, to emphasize this point. Anyway, you can find everything on page 110 to 111 on Hatcher. So that would be a good time to stop and recap. Okay, what is the definition of a degree? So again, first we have to de define a map F from one space to another space. So map F takes a sphere to a sphere. Yeah, so, but you know H and SN is nothing but integers. So, this is a homomorphism between ring of integers. So, therefore, since it's a homomorphism between integers, it has to be a multiplication by an integer. So, I put it as multiplication by D, where D is an integer. This D is called the degree of the map. and we denote it by degree of F. So the first property, I'm going to just uh, copy the property 2 which was written above the yellow line that is 1 star equals to 1. So if the map F is nothing but identity, it takes sphere to sphere, then degree of map is 1. Uh, now this is pretty clear. Since F is identity, so it has to take HNSN to HNSN, so multiplication by D is nothing but multiplication by 1. Yeah, so because the homomorphism has to be the identity map now, and it will be identity map only if D is 1. So that gives you degree of D is 1. So let us continue writing the properties. So the first property is that if two maps are homotopic, then we have seen that they induce the same homomorphism. So if the homomorphism is the same, that means multiplication is by the same integer. Therefore, degrees are the same. The opposite implication 
is called the theorem of Hopf. So part C now. So degree of map FG is degree of F times degree of G. So this is again clear from property 1. FG star is equal to F star times G star. Now F star itself is multiplication by an integer. G star is a multiplication by integer. So when you compose two maps, two multiplications together, they are multiplication of the integers. So it is D1 times D2. Yeah, this is just from the, comp the homomorphism of integers. So let us apply part C. So consider there is a map F which is not onto. Then the degree of this map is 0. So F is not onto, then its degree is 0. So we will decompose X. First we will map from Sn to Sn minus a point. So obviously if the map is not onto, there is a point which is missing. So let us just draw S2 so as to make point clear. So you have S2 here. Then we have a map. So we have broken map F from Sn to Sn or S2 to S2 into two parts. Yeah, since it's not on two, there's a point missing. So this point is missing. Now if you take a point out of the sphere, it is equivalent to a disk which is equivalent to a point. So this uh, sphere without a point is homotopically equivalent to a point. Yeah, so the degree map is, so this is map F1, say this is map F2 and map F is nothing but F2, F1. So homology group of sphere is integers, Sn minus a point is 0 because the sphere with the point missing is homotopically equivalent to a point. So obviously F1 is multiplication by 0 which immediately gives you that degree of F is degree of F1 times degree of F2 but degree of F1 is just 0. So you get degree of F is 0. So if F is a reflection of the sphere then the degree of F is minus 1. So we will draw an example of S2 but it easily generalizes to Sn. So what does S2 consist of? S2 consists of 2 0 cells, 2 1 cells, 2 2 cells. See this is non-standard construction. In the standard construction S2 consists of just 1 0 cell and 1 2 cell and we have already described this construction before. So let us draw this again. So it consists of two zero cells. Let us name them V1 and V2. Two one cells. Name them A and B. And then it contains the upper hemisphere. And a lower hemisphere. This upper hemisphere is one two cell with the edge C and this is lower hemisphere say L with an edge D. So yeah, so let us now write the cell complex associated. Dimension 2 upper and lower hemisphere generate Z2, C1, 
A and B are the generators generate Z2 and V1 and V2 generate C0. So let us calculate the image of uh, delta 1. So delta 1 of A is V2 minus V1 and this is exactly opposite of delta of P which is V1 minus V2. Notice how the orientations have helped us. So the generator of image is V1 minus V2. So this generator will generate entire integers. Now obviously this would imply the kernel is all the kernel is also z because we are act, map is acting on z2. To further understand this, notice that the kernel is precisely the diagonal of the of z2. That is where coefficients of v1 and v2 are equal. So it's best to understand kernel and images in terms of maps and free groups rather than in terms of topology. What about delta 2? Now delta 2 of upper hemisphere gives us HC. And uh, of lower hemisphere gives us H minus D. Now notice why these signs, although if you see the diagram on the left, both C and D seem to be going in the same direction. But that is not so and we will see this in a minute. So if C minus D, it will generate image of delta 2 which will be integers and obviously since it is Z2, the kernel will be Z. So let us see why C and D are of opposite signs. So consider these two orientations of opposite signs. So these are two disks with boundaries and opposite orientation. Now place one disk over the other like a paper folding. Uh, so that will give you opposite. So if you play, stick one disk to another, what you get is a sphere. So that is why C minus D. So if I draw it like this, it is more clear. So yeah, C and D are pasted together. They are just folded over each other. So let us calculate the homology groups. H0 is C0 over image of delta 1, which is Z. So this will just give you Z. H1 should be 0. So let us see. Let us see it is actually 0. So kernel of delta 1, you have already seen kernel of delta 1 is Z. What is image of over image of delta 2? which is also Z. So we get 0. What about H2? The homology group of H2 is just kernel of delta 2 because after that the maps are all 0 which is Z which we have just shown. So we have drawn this. So what does reflection essentially mean? So reflection means changing one of the coordinates. So since we are in dimension 2, we are going to change u and l. So reflection is changing u and l. Notice that I am only saying change u and l. Do not, I repeat again, do not change a or b, v1 or v2. So you change only u and l and do not change a, b, v1, v2. So what are the generators? So generators are reversed in the nth dimension. So basically we are changing C and D. They are the two edges. So C minus D is changed to D minus C. Or C is changed to minus D. Again you might say this is, we are talking about image of delta 2, not kernel of delta 2, but again kernel of delta 2 is nothing but where coefficients are equal. Anyway, you would have to change the coefficients so that the sum adds up to 0. So that is pretty much it. Now this is important. So we have changed the generators of upper hemisphere and lower hemisphere. And how did we do that? With just a multiplication by minus 1. And that is why the degree of f is minus 1. Yeah, so see, degree of f is minus 1. 